JT, let's talk about this, about your involvement. I was kind of surprised to see you there. Um, kind of how this came about, the new structure, how it's all going to work, your role. Let's talk about when this started, the process, and how this all came about for you. You don't want to talk about district gaming? <laughs> I want to ask you about that. If you want to, I want to ask you about that too because I'm confused by it. But go ahead. No, no. Um, you know, obviously, um, you know, Ted made a change. Mr. Leonis has made a change with 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 the general manager a couple of months ago. Right. Um, and you know, he came to the to the point where, you know, instead of hiring just one person, person A to replace. You know, he wanted a team. I guess he says a team of leaders to 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 make decisions for for what a new entity that's called now Monumental Basketball. Right. So he owns the Wizards, the Mystics, the Go Go, the District Gaming, two arena football teams, the DC and the Baltimore football team. Right. Uh, uh, I, I, I might be missing somebody that he that he does. Right. That he, that he, <laughs> right. Um, and so, just he pulled all the basketball entities and put it under one 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 umbrella, um, district basketball. So, you know, we we started talking a little while ago, and you know, we're going back and forth. And I, I became excited, as I said, because because I want to be part of a team and, right. and to be able to get out there and 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 contribute and help. And I'm I'm excited. So, but but your involvement. So when I, when I read the press. Uh, statement, and then I watched it. It says your department's going to focus on maximizing player potential on and off the court. I get that. Focus on financial literacy, post-playing career opportunities. I get all that, and overall empowerment, development of athletes. Okay, I kind of understand that, but I'm I'm more intrigued by what you're going to do to help them on the court. I get the off the court stuff, but as you say, being part of a team that means on the court stuff. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's at the end of the day, the on the court and winning and losing is the most important thing. Right. You know, at the end of the day, uh, uh, here, Coach Brooks and his staff are, are going to coach the team. You know, but but it's it's going to be a, a collaborative effort in terms of managing all all five teams, all five programs, all five. In- so what is? Can you just give us an? I'm just trying to wrap my head around it. Give John. us an example. Give us an example. Beyond, I get helping a guy, a guy post playing opportunities, um, figuring out what his future might be. I get all that, but how are you going to help this team win? Well, no, hopefully. So, 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 first of all, like the day to day on the court stuff, right. uh, I'm not going to sit down on the court, no, mm-hmm. but just right. the overall planning of, of, of the program, planning on the direction, planning on how we're going. You know, hopefully that, and, and then with the stuff that you, that you do say you understand, you know, I, I also heard the phrase "happy wife, happy life." Right. You know, hopefully, we can create a situation. You, you guys were talking a little while ago. I forget which team you used, and you said, "Hey, in the pros, the, the pro locker room was much worse yeah. than the college." Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, NFL. You know, yeah. I think, I think the attitude has been in professional sports um, that look, we're paying these guys money; they can take care of everything else. Just we're giving them money, let them get here, perform, and then roll out. And I think what Mr. Leontes wants to do is just create an environment where, to a certain extent, it, it's some aspects of the collegiate model, but just where the, where the, 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 the men and women, we have over 50 athletes that come under this umbrella, where they understand that there's a connectiveness to monumental basketball, to the Wizards, to the Mystics, to the Go-Go, right. to district gaming. You know, and, and, and so can we take care of them? Can we help them with any issue that they may have? And then their performance on the court will be better. Are you, John, are you going to be part of sort of, I assume you are, Ted's inner circle? So that when basketball decisions are made, large decisions, you know, you, you may not have final say by any stretch, but you're going to have some input on free agent signings, trades, draft picks, that sort of thing. Are, do you expect that you'll have a voice there if you want it? Will you be asked? No, I do want it, and I, w- I, I absolutely, 100%. Okay. 100%. Yeah, I'm, I'm now, guessing. Now, now, now at, yeah. at the end of the day, the, you know, the final say is Tommy's say. Right. But, yeah, yeah. but, you know, Tommy's, but you're Tommy's part of the inner circle. Is, absolutely, well, yes. Yeah, at the end of the day, you're a coach. I mean, right. that's what you do. You evaluate talent. You did that for years, going out and recruiting. Who are that's the best your real specialty. Right, I mean, that's, your, that's what you do. You know, I mean, you're not a businessman, but you're a coach. 
Hey, man, I can do a lot. I can wear many hats. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you better you better know how to now, right? <laughs> that's that's exactly right. Were that's you? exactly. Right. And obviously, it's 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 a big challenge. You know, obviously, particularly with the Wizards. You know, we 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 have a long road to haul. You know, I, I I've, I've tried to resist from saying what I said when I first went over to Georgetown. We're going to take baby steps. Um, you know, but I think, you know, I think we're moving in the right direction. I think that, that, you know, it's, it's, it's a different setup. It's hard for people to grasp, you know, where you just don't have a person, a singular person that's going to make every decision. I like for the it. Franchise. You now have a team of people right. that, that, that have different strengths, different backgrounds, um, you know, and, and collectively, you know, you got a group of people that are going to make input, make decisions, and then Tommy's then Tommy's going to make the big decisions. Joined by John Thompson, the third engagement department for the Wizards. You mentioned Tommy Shepard. I, I would guess some new GMs might feel threatened by you know having three or four new people introduced to the staff, but he seems like a guy who's very collaborative, wants to work with people. He doesn't seem like a guy who will be threatened by this new power setup here with the Wizards. No, I don't think so at all. And we've spent some time. We, meaning the the, the new team, has spent some time together the last, over the last week. And and you know everybody's pretty easy to get along with. I, I don't think Tommy's threatened, nor should should he be threatened about anything. You know, Tommy's done a great job. Um, you know, this off season and and kind of helping turn the direction of, of 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 the Wizards in a different direction. You know, it's, it's a vision that he and Ted planned that they set out and put in place. You know, months ago. And so there, I mean, there's there's absolutely nothing for him to feel threatened about. He's, done, he's He's been in this a long time. He's respected around the league. You know, and we're excited about the future. You know, we're mm-hmm. excited about where we're going. Let me ask you this, uh, John. So it's, it's, it's been a lot of speculation, right, as we've kind of waited for this announcement, what direction Ted's going to go. And the fans and the, the guys in the media, the people in social media, they've all speculated well, what's the next step for the Wizards. A lot of people have said, hey, you're going to have to move Brad. You're going to have to split this up. These contracts are too onerous. You've got John injured. Uh, it seems like with what Tommy said to ESPN yesterday, you guys are going to offer your max deal, whatever it is, $111 million. You want to, you know, show Brad how committed you are to winning and to him and even to John, who's coming into his Supermax contract, unfortunately off a devastating injury. Let's just say John comes back at 98%. That might be a stretch. But let's just say he comes back pretty darn great from this Achilles. How long of a run? You say they're probably not going to play next year. Are you planning on these guys playing together for what? Three, you've got like a three or four-year window with these two guys at the, sort of at the peak of their powers, hopefully? No, your last word sums it all up, hopefully. Yeah. You know, if John comes back at 98%, I will take that. What do you expect? What's the realistic expectation for Achilles injuries today? I know it's not the same as 20 years ago, but it's still, that's a pretty devastating injury. It is. And, and to be honest, what I expect, I'm not sure. You know, yeah. part, of, part of our new structure, where we're having a new health and wellness and medical team, you know, and they haven't had a chance to meet with John yet. You know, so it's one of those things where I'm, what, what we expect, I'm going to let the doctors tell me. I'm going to let John and John's body tell us. Right. So I, like, sitting here now, you know, this is, I'm actually sitting in the parking lot of the practice facility. Um, you know, I, 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 I can't begin to say what we expect, but, but we have the, the best medical team in place, and, and that will continue to grow and continue to build. And then you just have to work with John and listen to John's body. And, and that, right. you know, time will, time will be able to answer that question. I can't answer that right now. Did you have any input uh, when they selected the last two guys, Rui and Admiral? Were you involved at all at that point? Nope. I started yesterday. What? So what is your opinion of those guys? Yeah, I, I, I like them both. You know, they both have good upside. You know, Rui, obviously, is a big guy. He can do a lot of different things. He's skilled. He seems like a hard worker. Right. You know, Admiral, obviously, he's I love you know, him. playing Playing for Barnes, you know he's a worker. You know he's used to getting in the gym. You know he's not going to slack, right. be a slacker. And so, you know, they both, you know, seem like they they have the right mindset and the right work ethic to be pros, to get better. You know, the rookies, very few rookies are going to come in and just have a great, tremendous impact. But as long as they have that mindset, you know, they assimilate, they, 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 they take on the, the, the core values of what Coach Brooks is going to want. They're going to be fine, and I think those guys have those traits. Coach, real quick, um, what are your expectations for Isaiah Thomas, who was, you know, when before the hip injury, he was one of the best point guards in the leagues, or certainly offensively. 
He averaged, I don't know, 27 a game for Boston. Um, yep. But he had the hip surgery. He had some injuries. Uh, he hadn't been the same. He ha- he says he's healthy. What are your expectations? Yeah, that answer, uh, I guess, is similar to my answer about John. You know, I don't know yet. I mean, as, as you just laid it out, he's been injured. He says he's healthy now. Um, you know, if, if he is healthy, you know, we heck, we all are hoping and praying. That we, we remember what he did to the Wizards a couple of years ago. Right. You know, we were right there. And so, you know, hopefully he's healthy, but but we'll see. You know, I think that one thing about Isaiah, you know, that, that I've learned is, you know, he, he, he's going to give it all that he has. And, you know, we, we have a young team, and, and he's great in the locker room. I mean, he's a pro's pro. You know, having him as an example, you know, for our younger guys is going to be crucial in the locker room. Having him as a sounding board for John because he went through and then hopefully it's coming out of what John is going through now with a devastating injury. Right. So, um, you know, I, th- I think that, that a lot more than what he brings to the table on the court, what he brings off the court is, is essential. But hopefully he's back to, you know, he's back to being the IT that was lighting us up a couple of years ago.